we're literally in the back of the bus. Oh yeah, show them what you got. Got some slippers, a blanket, and a pillow. Every row. It's pretty nice. We just got in our room. It took how long? How long did it take us to get here? You know, from it took about an hour from the airport, and yeah, a couple a couple train mishaps. No big deal. We got it figured out pretty well. Um, it was about 13 hours to get here. I think we made up some time, which is kind of surprising. So I think it was about 13 hours from Minneapolis to here. Two hour layover in Minneapolis and an hour flight to Minneapolis. So in total, I mean, we've been up for about 24 hours now. Just now got in the room, which is pretty uh, terrible. Got up at four, hour time. It's now seven Japan time on Saturday. So we got up four on Friday, it's seven on Saturday. Um, obviously, yeah. oh, no, no, you're right, sorry. That's, it's, uh, it's almost five. My fault, it's almost five. Um, well, let me show you the room. Start with the entryway, little Genkan area. Shoes, you have your toilet room on the left here. Toilet, toilet, toilet on the left. Fancy toilet with a sink in the top of the toilet so you can wash your hands and then the sink water will fill the toilet when you're done. Showers across from it. Shower area. Showers right here. Pretty cool. And then the rest of the, I guess this is an apartment. Is this an apartment? Not really. This is more like a hotel, like specifically designed for this because you just have desk area, a little TV, and then our bed area over here. And that's it, that's the whole space. I think the plan is probably to get some food. I guess we'll rest here for a little bit. We're both pretty beat get some food, hang out, maybe do a little bit of looking around. We're in Shinjuku right now, and uh, probably call the night after that, maybe a little early. We might get up early tomorrow, go do stuff. I'm exhausted. Okay, so, Afternoon slash evening one was a little bit of a bust. <laughs> I think it went exactly as expected <laughs> after traveling for so long. We tried to walk around. It's really cold right now, which didn't make it easy. Waits for, for restaurants were pretty long, or at least it looked like it. So we just stopped by for some convenience store food, some convenient food. But it's, as the stories go, it's great here. It's definitely not like traditional convenience store food, it's, it's much you know, more well-rounded. Got ourselves some uh, Bakari sweat. Get our electrolytes. It's like a sports drink. <clears throat> yeah, but I think we're gonna go to sleep early tonight. I'm exhausted. <laughs> early morning tomorrow though, we got a full full itinerary, so we'll jump right in. Anything else to add? We'll see you guys at Shibuya Sky We are at Shibuya Crossing, which is the busiest crossing in the world, but it's only like 7 a.m. right now, so no one here. And we will see you, uh, Shinju, we will show you another view of this once we get to the observation deck later today. Yeah, we can, we can cross. But you guys will be able to see 
just how insane this gets. We're at this place called Mega Don Quixote. It is a pretty much anything and everything store. So let's show you around. Got some clothes, got some cosmetic stuff, next to food, next to face masks, next to onesies, anything and everything. Pure retinol. Look at this just gigantic thing of retinol. <laughs> Some, is this Jack Daniels and Coke? Jack and Coke in a, in a can? Whiskey. <laughs> Whiskey. Jack and Coke in a can. On the second floor now. What do we got going on over here? Some cherry blossom toilet paper. I know, it's like noise overdrive right now. <laughs> sensory issues don't, uh, don't come here. There's a lot. No, no, no. That's a lot. Too much. What in the world? Four five. Food samples. Yeah, like realistic foods. Here we go, magnets. All right, mom, this one's for you. Lauren, what floor is this? Six, I think. This looks like the electronics floor. Just absolutely endless. Top floor. Looks like mostly souvenirs and I guess some cash registers. You can do some tax-free purchases here with your passport, which is kind of cool. Uh, and this is the floor to do it on if you ever come to Don Quixote, the mega one, seventh floor, tax-free. Shibuya Parco, the rooftop, six floors up or something like that. Overlooks the city, it's a cool view. Cold though, windy. And a lot of stairs to get up here. I went and saw the, uh, well, on the sixth floor is the Nintendo store, the Capcom store, the Jump store. We didn't go in the Nintendo store because there was like a queue with tickets. Yeah. But one to the other, it was worth it. It was very cool. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff. Um, the queue is weird, but I imagine it's crowd control. And we weren't really going to buy anything in the Nintendo store anyway, so no need to pay to get in or yeah. wait to get in. So we're going to do this, and then we have Shibuya Sky here next in about an hour. But you'll see, yeah, another cool view. Let's walk to the other side and see the other half of this rooftop garden.
So we'll kill time for a little less than an hour. It's yeah, 11.45. We'll so yeah. See, it's Shibuya Sky, I guess. Man, this is the view from Shibuya Sky. There's the temple we were at this morning, way over there. Technically, right there. It's so white, it looks like I know, it looks like the cloud. That is Mount Fuji in the background, right smack dab in the center there. I don't know if you can see this, how well this is picking it up on the camera, but yeah, usually it's really hard to see. Clouds typically cover the top of it all the time, so getting to be able to see this here is pretty cool. <laughs> to keep some scale, we're really far away. That's in your show. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's exciting. This is like a price tag. This is just a gotcha fun of price tags or grocery bags. That's amazing. This is the Kanda Myojin Shrine in Akihabara. make prayers here for good health, having a good year. Some people draw on their prayer cards and hang them up. And Warren was saying that these are for individual gods, these different houses here, these different shrines. It's kind of hard to see on video, but all of this Fencing has like writing etched into it. Let me see if I can. It's going to be really hard to see. It's very cool. It's all the way down the fence line. So we are in uh, Namco. It's like seven floors of anime or something. First day in Akihabara. And we're basically looking at tons of claw machines. So check this out. They go hard with crane games here. You got anime figures, you got little plushies, all sorts of cool stuff. Crazy loud in here. 
people who play uh, the arcades here seriously know what they're doing. They play so well, and they're so good at all the games. This is those, um, when you're watching a TikTok and they have like a, a stitched TikTok and the thing on the bottom, they're just cutting a random ball. Have you seen this before? Yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, <laughs> we got the captain. Ah, uh, should we do it again? Sure. There we go. Cute. Uh, all right, so we are back from our first trip to Akihabara, and this is kind of a what did you get? You got a good amount of stuff. Do you want to start going through some things? Uh, why don't you do yours first? Yeah. Uh, so we started off the day with the Square Enix Cafe. I don't really want to unroll. Well, I guess we can. That's fine. Can you unroll this? We went to the Square Enix Cafe during the Final Fantasy event, so got a couple of posters. This is the first one. Yeah, it came with a meal. The meals were all, all themed, and you'll probably see some footage of like the food that we got and the drinks that we got. This is one, and then this is the other one, the Kate Sith poster, so pretty cool. In the store, uh, afterwards, the, the Square Enix store, got this little acrylic stand of Zack. So I definitely had to do that. Couldn't leave without it. Um, I think that was it for the Square Enix store. Where else did we go? We went to um, a bunch of gotchas. A little gotcha from near the one character that nobody would recognize. <laughs> the like, resistance leader. Um, after that, we went to Namako? Namco. Namco. Sorry. Went to Namco. Um... Yeah, that's where we got the gotchas. I don't think we bought anything else there. It's kind of just different things. Yeah, different things. Six floors of gotcha. No, there were six floors of stuff. Crane games, there's an like, arcade. Yeah. And then we went to, um, where did we get that? Was it Hobby? Yeah, it was Hobby Paradise. Hobby Paradise. That was actually surprisingly good. that, just really quickly. Oh, yeah. this morning. We got a little charm, and I believe they're meant for, it's said on the vending machine, like for those who are praying at home, but very cute. Cool little keepsake. Yeah, but then we went to Hobby Paradise. This was our Hobby Paradise stuff. A couple cards. This is a music box from Nier, so it'll play some, one of the songs or a couple of the songs from the game. And Lauren got a couple of cards as well. And I'll open them. I think they just had slightly different options in both of these packs, so I just got one of, of each. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's multiple. I thought I was only gonna get like one, but there's three. Oh yeah. Aki, Sakura, Mimi. Cute. Cute. Yep, and they look like, yeah, just different sets of the cloud cards. I'm used to seeing the, like, traditional mm -hmm. red and orange, but I know the pink hair in the show. I don't think I've seen this version of it. But it's been a long time since I was, like, deep into the story. Yeah, very cool. And then the other one. I don't want to hurt the cards. There we go. Oh, here we go. You got Toya. And then Sakura. That's a nice one. I like that art of her. And then there she's from. Doubled up on the Sakura's. So this is from near. Let's see what we got here. I think I can put four. Oh, you're right. It does come with... I think it says and gum. Well, I don't know. We'll see what that is. So the first one is, oh, there's two. Okay, it's two cards. Got 9S, it's kind of cool, it's like C3. 
no way did I get the captain again. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> captain Lily? Gosh darn it. That's so funny. These are neat though. The see-through is cool. Yeah. Have fun. And then, is this gum? It says gum. It does say gum on the front. Well, it broke like, like hard gum, so I guarantee it is. Cleared card collection gum. Whatever. All right. I thought it would come with four, but I guess. Yeah, the types that you can get. That's cool. Yeah, not bad. Save that gum for later. And you want to show off your manga, or I'll, I can go first and see your camera. So I got the second Goku Rock Guy manga, and then Kagurabachi. Um, this is the only one that's out for this show. This, this manga. But gosh, these are cheap here. These were literally 520 yen a piece, um, which is like $3.75 or something like that. It's right in that realm, which is crazy because we buy manga for 12 to 15 dollars, like US dollars. That markup is nuts. But just. It's made here, so I'm sure it's way cheaper. Once we get her translated to, so they, they're probably manufactured different. Yeah, there might be some different manufacturing, but nonetheless, three American dollars versus 15, like that's crazy. So we ended up getting a lot of manga because it's so cheap. Okay, so I did get the first Apothecary Diaries volume. I also got a second one for my buddy who also loves it. And then... Um, I'm actually not sure about this one, so I love Yon of the Dawn, and they had the full series, and I saw the first volume, and this one was to the left of it, like before it, and uh, I used my Google Translate, and it didn't say like what it is, um, it may be, ooh, I just peeked, I think it might be like the novel version, uh, but I'll open that in a minute, but I just thought this cover and stuff was really beautiful too for the bookcase because we love to collect books. Then these I'm really excited about. So I love Inuyasha and these are like, they've got like a gold foil on them, which is really cool. Um, I do have, I think the first or second of the regular Japanese volumes at home, but, um, and I didn't see those here today, but I did see these and I was like, I gotta get these because they're gold foiled and they're pretty looking, so. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. That's our haul for today, though. We had some good food, mm -hmm. uh, good ramen. Yeah, I got some ramen and stopped at 7-Eleven on the way home so I could get myself a little sweet. Absolutely. We're right by 7-Eleven, which is super nice. And then we got another day here and then off to uh, Kyoto mm -hmm. after that. I'll probably go out again today because it's only, what time is it right now? 2.40. 2.40. So we'll take a break for a little while go back out maybe go to Harajuku this evening or something. Yeah. Yeah. Harajuku this evening. Uh, hopefully some street food. I'm gonna show you guys. I really want. I keep saying it. Long, longer, longest. Mm -hmm. It's a street vendor that sells like long food. Like their thing is long food. So what I would like to get is a potato that they like spiral cut and it's on this giant skewer. It's like two feet long. So hopefully you can get a longest potato tonight. That'd be good. All right, I'll show you soon. The longest potato. Long, 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 longer, longest. Longest in Japan, 800 yen for 52 centimeters of potato. Don't drop anything on the camera. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.